Join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And Mandy, would you establish a quorum of the council, please? Yes. Mayor Jones? Here. Mayor Pro Tem Doherty? Here. Council Member Hogan? Here. Council Member Curran? Here. We have the resignation, so right, that will be further on. All right, we are now on item two, approval of the agenda. Is there anyone that would like to move or change anything from council on the agenda? Yeah, I would suggest that we number the closed session and move it to the end just before the third. And then you may move us to ground. So, oh. um, so you want the reports of council staff, future agenda items, and council correspondence to be report. Okay. So then right after number five. Okay. Okay. Number, well, the closed count, the closed session isn't really numbered, is it? Um, <clears throat> all right. So you want it right before it's your agenda. Yep. So this is for the closed session is for you guys to oh yeah. It's not, yeah, you yeah. don't have to be. Here. You're not in this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. yeah, sorry. <laughs> not this first one. Okay. We'll want you at probably the next yeah. one. Yeah. But um, oh, one of this. us will take the minutes as okay. far as you okay. know. Okay, yeah, that's good. And, like, yeah. and then you can do the time to do the report out. Gotcha. Okay. Right. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. um, okay, is there finish. any input from public? Seeing no participants, back to council. For the vote of the approval of agenda with that one change. I'm really surprised you're trying to say that. Yeah. Yeah. There might be something wrong. I was just checking an email to see if somebody was, you know. I waved to Lisa Hooken today. I'll move approval of the agenda um, at the closed session later. All right, I'll second. I think I moved it and then passed it. Okay, great. Okay. We're already done. Okay. Okay, just the vote by someone joining, second by Chris Curran, to approve the agenda with moving the closed session right above adjournment. Any further discussion from council? Anything from public? Back to council for the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We have an agenda. Item three is public participation. Right. The public is invited to present petitions, make announcements, or provide other information to the city council that is relevant to the scope of authority of the city of Blue Lake that is not on the agenda. The council may provide up to 15 minutes for this public input session to answer or to assure sorry, that each individual presentation is heard. The council may uniformly impose time limitations of three minutes to each individual presentation. The council will be given the opportunity to address items that are on the agenda at the time the council takes up each specific agenda item. Is there any public comment? Public comment? No public to mention. Okay. Item four, draft resolution number 1188. This is a resolution in support of the Weehawk Tribe's declaration of a state of emergency on the Badawat, Bad River, Ikshari, Elk River, Gidugaralil, Van Dusen River in response to severe drought conditions. And I apologize if I've mispronounced any of the names. Okay, the Weah tribe has declared a state of emergency on the Vanuat Nag River along with the Eel of Van Dusen and the Oakwood. In response to severe drought conditions, City Council directed the city manager to prepare a draft resolution supporting the tribe's declaration. Any further staff reports on this or council input? So just so you know, I just kind of threw everything in thinking you guys could take things out you didn't like and move things around or reboard them. Declarations are always kind of well. Resolutions are always kind of wordy and it's a weird thought process for me <laughs> to go through because it doesn't quite, it's not how my mind works. So feel free um, to tear it apart or make changes. I, I won't be offended in any way. The other side of this though is kind of thinking about how this resolution can support the uh, city's efforts and the tribes, like if it's future funding or, you know, if there is a de declared state of emergency by the state, 
you know, the city could possibly, you know, um, go after funding for emergency um, preparedness. We could go for economic revitalization, um, all those things. So I try to throw in things like it's tied to our economic, um, so, you know, sustainability. It's tied to our drinking water. It's tied to all these things because it, it feels a little bit awkward, but it sets us up to apply for funding in the future too. Well, I always feel like if we don't have to invent the wheel, you know, and if there's another entity that's come up with a good resolution, then we should take that. Um, the only thing we have to change, I think, is the name to Blue Lake. Sure. I thought this uh, Ottawa is already experiencing levels of toxic blue green algae. I don't know if there's a better way to phrase that. So it's. It's, it's more earlier this year. Yeah, right. I was kind of saying that it's earlier this mm -hmm. year. Yeah. Oh, I see on the fourth. Whereas on the last page, the bottom is already documented level. today. It's kind of. And you know, it might be already. instead of saying already, we might want to just say that it is experiencing it yeah. and yeah. establish it as sure. yeah. yeah. Let's take out the already. And that way, we're not saying you know we're used to it being later. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not okay in general, but. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't say where specifically too, because I still don't think it's this far north. Oh, it's totally is. Oh yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. So, you're not bringing the dog in there. Being this far. Yeah, this yeah. far east. I, guess, no, I don't think it's really. Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. That's a good change. Any other changes recommended by? Council members, any changes from public? If there are any, <laughs> I have, I think this is all right. Yeah, you can push participants. Yeah, there's. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. All right. Well, perhaps they'll view this later if it's being recorded. All right. So we are back to the council for a motion to pass resolution number one eighty eight. Pass resolution 188 with the one correction. Uh, second. Motion by Summer Gordy, second by Elaine Bennett, and Elaine. That's my middle name. I was like, oh, okay, Elaine Benjamin. I don't know. She's been emailing me. I thought that we had a married Okay, sorry, Elaine Hogan. Um, to pass resolution 188 with the strikeout of already on the second to the last whereas any further corrections or eleven eighty seven oh oh clarification on that yes. on the just the gender report page I don't know the actual agenda um, yeah on the agenda is eleven eighty eight but on this little staff report it is so we're gonna assume it's eleven eighty eight yeah, I was updating it from the last resolution was 87. I thought it was always good. Good, make sure it's not there. Mm -hmm. Two more points. There's three more. Okay, motion is second on the floor. Any further discussion from council? Anything from public? Back to council for the vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It passes unanimously. Item five city council vacancy discussion and determination regarding. Protocol to fill city council position vacated by council member Olivia Obadad Dunn. Council to determine whether appointment or special election to be utilized to fill vacancy protocol for appointment process. And this is an action item. So that was a good um, explanation provided. Yeah. By Ryan. Ryan did a great job. He's yeah. really fast and efficient too. I mean, Russ is also. Yeah. So essentially, we have 100. And 160 130 days prior to the uh, well, yeah. now it's within six um, weeks from the date of the right. So we need to get on this, really yeah. We need to get on to go through an appointment, right? And obviously, we don't want a special election because that is very costly. Yeah. There's no um, coming up, but it's a, yeah, the time frame is brutal. Yeah. yeah, there's an election in November, but. Or no, there's a recall on then, September yeah. 14th. But even the turnaround is so fast, I don't think we could even. Yeah. Okay. And then 
Can we clarify that if they're appointed, they only serve until mm -hmm. twenty. Okay. Until the next election. Okay. Yeah, so she's fulfilling a long term. Yeah, she was just yeah. she was just voted yeah. in in November, so that's a four year term. So essentially, this person is a it's a three and a half year term. But they would be appointed just till the next yeah. general election, March eighth, right? So oh, another what ten months or something? Or probably oh, months or so it says they would only serve till November twenty twenty one. Since the vacancy occurred during the first half of the term and at least 130 days prior to the next municipal election. But then it says we can't have an election on November 2nd, 2021. We'd have to have it on the next election, March 8th. Oh, so I was a little confused. Well, I think it's confusing because you know, if we start messing with people's terms, right. we're gonna be right out, of, we're gonna be out of sync because we've got you know the three and the two, the three and the two. Um, which Summer and I and Olivia were in the three, and you two were in the two, and it's every every two years. So, in my mind, it should be a three and a half year almost appointment until our next. But based on the code, election. yeah. So is that so we understand? So this, if we appoint somebody, they would serve through the next election, and then would have to be elected. So right. They, have, they to have to go on the next general election. Oh, okay. okay. So well, so that March, was my understanding. So March eighth. Okay. But it says here uh, uh, November. Maybe we could get some clarification. Well, I think that's when. So that's when the election process starts. So that's oh, okay. when you have to, you know, it, you have to get your signatures and all that stuff to get on the general election. So I think that's how the process works. In order to be in the June election? No, in no. order to be in the March eighth election. Right. So if this person is appointed now, they would only serve till March 8th, and then there would be an all, an all. There's no, an there would be the election on March 8th. So they'd have to, so the declaration process starts in that no, this upcoming November for an upcoming general election. That's my understanding. But that term process. would only be for two and a half years or whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. It would it would only it would be for the remaining the term. Okay. Yeah, but okay. you have to go through if there's a general election cycle, then the appointment then transfers has to run during the general election. And then you can elect not to do a special. Okay, so that means that so it's a very specific paragraph here that says if we appoint a council member, then they serve until November 2021 right. election since the vacancy occurred during the first half. So that means during there during the appointment, which we have to do in a, within a certain number of days, um, that person then has to prepare for an election, right? In November. In, in March. If, in no, November. 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 Specifically, November 2021. Yeah. But there's not, we don't have an election. November. That's the part that's confusing. Yeah. I know. I, I really confused. That's me the part of so this day, 2022. Uh, probably. I would imagine it. Is it? Yeah. It's, it's so funny, funny, funny. Okay. Okay. What elections happen in November? It's uh, um, not in November. So, but that's what he said. It's November second, twenty twenty one. He's got in there. So, oh wait, there's a special. Okay, hold on. I have this all figured out. I'm so like, sorry. <laughs> God, that was all now we're confused again. November 2nd. So November 2nd, is that the, no. the two year? Oh. Um, the, no. 2022 is. Yeah, we were elected in 2020. Yeah. We're elected in 2020. So there is a general election on November 2nd, okay. but we can't decide to hold a special election on that day because there's already a general election. So we would have to push it to the following general election, March 8th. I don't know. No, that make sense. I thought there was an upcoming general election. There's other stuff I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know that yeah, that is. all I know is about the recall on September. So 14th. if you want to 
just at least go through the process, establish that you're able to all clarify okay. the dates. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I would like to start the process anyway of getting applications in, but the problem yeah. is that what the person's going to ask is, well, how long is this right. for? Right. We'll know before you release it. I'll know right. tomorrow. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We want a definitive answer because I don't know it's not good. It's undefined. Yeah. It's, it's in per per perpetuity. You're stuck. <laughs> well, the planning commission, you have to serve until someone else is out right. Yeah, it's the only one that's <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay, so 21 election. Yeah. Okay, so if we go through the appointment process, it means, you know, putting out, I mean, people would need to submit some sort of documentation mm -hmm. and then yeah. we need to make it a public uh, interview process. Yes, it is. It's yeah. completely public. And it does and say our there form is a looks... November 2nd, 2021 general election. Okay, there yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. And so then yeah. this, this person also then has to be aware that they need to also. If they want to continue, they would also then run in an election, go through that process. And get it. Okay. That's coming out of the Oh, then it's too. But it's not as soon as September 14th. Mm -hmm. Gives them a little more time to think, and other people to think too, if they want to pull out their papers. But let's see, we were pulling out papers in June, no, July, July for November. Okay. So it's, it's, if we started it now, you know, there's a point out. Or, yeah, then others might want to All right. You'll get uh, the information on that and maybe get back to us about it. And the form for the application is very similar to um, our forms for our other commissions. Yeah. Right. You know, it just asks for some. Um, we ask for more so that then the public has some. Or to go off of? Well, when you interview them, you can ask them a lot of questions. Okay. You know, you're bound to not ask them certain questions, but right. you know, like in any interview, but you can ask them some questions. But mainly it's your experience and then what's your desire? Why are you really, why do you want to do this kind of a thing? Something like that. Okay. And then usually the person is at the council meeting and they make a uh, speech more or less. I think there should also be some questions and then like have an open forum where the public can like ask questions and then they answer them. And, or maybe we collect questions in advance and then we can compile them if there's the same types of questions. And... Hmm. We've never done it that way, but that's fine. I mean, when I was interviewed for this position eight years ago, seven years ago, when I took over for Laura Manzanita. There were three of us mm -hmm. that had applied, and we had a full council chamber. There, there were a lot of people. None of the public asked questions. Mm -hmm. The council person asked me questions after I made a little speech. Did they allow a little bit? Ask questions? Uh, I don't recall that. Okay. But I think of the process that Arcata went through when they appointed Brett Watson. I mean, they mm -hmm. went through a pretty extensive process. And they, it's like they, you know, the council asks questions, the public asks questions, and of every person that was there, you know, looking at appointment, there were several of them. So I think it's, I think we need to make it open so that the public can ask questions. Yeah, I think you're right. I think at some point we should open it up to the public, but I don't think they did when I applied. Yeah. We should do that, or if they want to submit questions beforehand, right? Mm -hmm. And, and then have an interview night and then a, maybe a wait an additional meeting so that we can hear additional feedback or I don't know. That feels weird to just like vote yeah, on something I know. Like something that night without giving a lot of public right. uh, opportunity to think about it. Years ago there was a person who applied that the audience very strongly wanted. And so I think it swayed the council that evening. There were a lot of people that came out. Mm -hmm. It was for Karen Barnes. She ran, uh, she was appointed. And then later she ran and won. But the night she was appointed, there were, I don't know, maybe two or three applicants. And clearly, and uh, the public did pipe up and mm -hmm. a few people and said, well, Karen's been living here for a long, long time and she lives near the park and all that kind of thing. So. Yeah. Could we have a special okay. meeting the week after? Right, just right, right. Yeah. Right. yeah, because I might end up with some good feedback in the community. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, it's important. It's an yeah. important position. Okay, um, so what kind of direction or action is this? So we should accept her resignation, I think, is one thing, and then um, and begin the process for finding a replacement. And so do you want us to start advertising that in various ways, we'll be posting social media? Um, the, the like clarified dates. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And um, how about some information that can be included with that is that if you um, have questions for a candidate, uh, potential candidates, you can um, email those questions in advance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the process that we'll go through and have it as an open public meeting. And then, it, yeah. And there is the, and the application needs to be picked up at City Hall. Between the hours of nine to twelve, one to four. Yeah. Give them a heads up about one <coughs> needing to run for election. Uh, yeah, yeah, that should be maybe included too. That they will need to run again in, on November second, twenty twenty one, or whenever. The next election, season. we could say that, but then that would be the recall. So but we don't want to do that. September is the recall, and right. November is the we have Senate, Senate races, Senate. which we would need to decide to have an election before July 10th if we're going to do November because we need to meet the 114 day advance notice requirement. So then, if it's after July 11th, we couldn't have the election till March 8th. But so we could appoint right. somebody. And have an election. Yeah, so if we appoint somebody, though, then they, we have to have the election in November. That's, I guess that's what no, I'm No, that's not what Steve Lane's saying. He's Lane's saying if we don't do this by each other, if we don't decide that we want this person to be in the and election, then we would forego it. We would need to forego the appointment process so we go vacant until the election. Is mm -hmm. what I'm reading on the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, okay, so hold on. The council should, in this case, prioritize making an appointment to avoid the need to hold a special election. This is important because the special election could not be held on November 2nd because we couldn't meet the time frame, which is a general election, but would need to be held on the next regularly established election day following the general election, which is March 8th, 2022. So we can't meet the July 10th and we can't meet the July 11th. We can't meet the November 2nd. Yeah. So we're okay. so, so it's definitely the March 8th date. 2022. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that okay. gives us a so we have know. That's the clarification. Yeah. So that's okay. what they need to know. When somebody asks, sense. how long is this term for? We can say it's till my birthday, um, <laughs> March 8th, 2022, also International Women's Day. Is that your birthday? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and um that at that time they and others can run for the office. Okay. Okay, and then we're liable for the cost if the county's not conducting a special election on March 8th. So I don't know if that oh, factors mm -hmm. in. I don't know how much it is and if that factors into our decision. Or if there's anything we can do about it. Um, or if it's just kind of we'll have to pay. We don't want to. If we can get away without paying it, see, I don't think we want to. Elections are expensive anyway. And we don't just want to. What do you mean in September 15, 2022? What if we just wait a little bit for some clarification and, and make a decision at the fourth Tuesday meeting? Oh, yeah, every day of the week. That still cuts our time if we're supposed to wait like this month. Yeah, we have to do some a couple of special meetings. Yes, we can change one to get things that we can decide to run. Oh, it's right. 20, yeah. by August 20th. Yeah. Well, we're getting 60 days in. So. Yeah, so that still gives us time. If it's June 25th, July, August, 60 days would be the end of August. So we're talking about the end of July to make a decision. So you don't want to open this up yet to applicants? Is that what I'm hearing? What it puts us in that position of having a special potential 
pay for a special election. Yeah, whatever we want, Mandy, we don't want to have to pay for a special right. election. And if the county isn't having one on March 8th, we don't want to bind ourselves to having one. Yeah. So the next one wouldn't be until 2023? Well, there might be a, is there a primary? When is the primary? Is that the March 8th primary? Well, there seems to be something in June. But I think we've pushed it up now to March. People are, people, states are pushing it up further so right. they can get ahead of each other right. for some reason. <laughs> We can wait if we want to to get more clarification on this. Yeah, I will call Ryan and see. Yeah. And there's just no possible way in the next four days we can call a special election, right? Before July 10th. Because then it would coincide with the November and we wouldn't have to pay for it. I don't, I don't know what's involved, can. but yeah, yeah, I think you have to have all of your okay. your ballot stuff ready oh, and yeah. all of it. So Okay. Um, there are options. Yeah, I'd say it's, so some clarification and then we could, you know, depending on that, we can go forward with appointing. Or, okay. Yeah. So one thing we need to know is, is the county holding an election on March 8th, 2022? Yeah, it might be a senator, but I guess either way, if we're not going to go for the, go for the special election and we can't do it for the next four days, then no matter what, we're going to do it March 8th. We would appoint someone and then their election would be March 8th. So I guess it doesn't really matter if we're, we're paying, we're either paying for it or we're not paying for it, but it's going to happen yeah. March 8th, right? So they, yeah, they have a good year and a half. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little over a year. Wait, no, a little less. Um, less. less. <laughs> I know. It's wow. January. It's just everything else. Okay. Yeah. Just okay. 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 All right, so we're not going to, so the direction is that we're not going to. Um, he says it's a regular established election date is March 8th. Okay. There's something going on. Okay. Well, it might be our um, our state representatives. It might be. Um, yeah, he does say that it's a regularly established election for this election. Okay. It might be like Huffman or it might be okay. Jim Woods. I'm so not sure. sure. It might be one of those. Okay. So, okay. If, we, so if we go so ahead and now and open up the application yeah. process, yeah. So we yeah. are pretty well sure that this person is going to have to uh, hold office until March 8th and that that and earlier than that, they'll have to pull papers and if they, they want to. Yeah. Or anyone else can run on the March 8th. All right. Okay. Okay. And then how long do you guys want to? Um, Advertise for. Well, don't we yeah. have to fill it? We have to fill the vacancy by appointment within 60 days, so yeah. from June 25th. So, so we need to do it. So do at the last time. meeting of the month, this month, we can so see. if they could have it on the statement of interest and um, it would be the Wednesday before our Wednesday our interest, interest from the interested people. And then, okay, our July meeting is the 27th. So by the 26th at 4 p.m. or by the 27th. Well, we usually do, we get the, well, the package oh, is just supposed right. to be by like the 23rd. So it should be July 23rd then. Let's say the 22nd by 4 p.m. Because you use when you want people to have them submitted. Yeah, it's yeah. not very long. Well, if our meetings the following and you do the packets, right, on the, like yeah. around the 23rd, you need that time. Well, so when's our August meeting? Because we have to have some. Our August meeting, meeting. One, right. our August meeting one, two, three, four is the 24th. So sometime before August 24th, we have to have somebody appointed. Mm -hmm. before so August you want to do a special meeting in August or something? The beginning of August? Uh, that gives people a little more time. I just wonder who and how many people will get if it's only like a week. Oh, we yeah, I mean, yeah. if you want to have a special meeting just mm -hmm. for that, I mean, it's well, over two weeks. Today is July 6th. Yeah. Okay. And the, the, 20, the 
the 22nd of July. That's that's two weeks, over a little over two yeah. weeks. Okay. Yeah, that's I mean they can even okay. get it to me on that Friday. All right. Well let's cut off the pick a time that works for you that doesn't yeah. put you Friday the 23rd. Friday by noon. Okay, the 23rd would be fine. Okay. I mean, I'm delivering your business packet sometimes at like 10 o'clock at night. So. Right. <laughs> well, as I was saying, like, do it the day before so you don't, you're not right. waiting. It's still, it's always, there's always something that you're waiting on until that last minute. Yeah. Okay, so does, should that be in the form of a motion or is that enough direction to give to staff? I don't know. And that was July 23rd? Yeah, July 23rd, Friday, by, the, yeah. by that date, noon, yeah. application should be in for, well, is it? Uh, so the application and statement of interest. Yeah, right. Should be in, um, and then it'll be part of the packet for our meeting on the twenty seventh. And then we can hold a uh, public open, you know, list list. Let everybody can read the statement and then uh, or present themselves and then have questions asked. And, yeah, that's I see. I was just going to ask you if you yeah. want to do that in a public forum, like open this room up and well, open windows up, and we could try that. Space it out. No, okay. we could try that. Do you want to offer that as a Zoom option also? Yeah. Okay. Um, no. Okay. Yeah. Either way, people can come here. So that yeah, so that means we need to change our address for our on here now on the front page of the agenda. All oh, right. Mm -hmm. What did it say? Uh, no directions. It will be available at Skinner store in person mm -hmm. or Zoom. Okay. For um, the next meeting, this is mm -hmm. going to have to be changed. Okay. And language that change for yeah. July. Language that it states also that if you're unvaccinated, you should be removed from the house. Oh, we need those signs. Um, the county just made new yeah. signs. Man, did you what what do. does this yeah. sign say? I'm curious. Um, that if you're not vaccinated, you need to wear a mask to enter this facility, and if you are vaccinated, then you can go without a mask. Okay. All right. And you have those signs available? For yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. My staff needs them. Oh. Work in the for you. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. So you're yeah. making great signs. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Good. All right, is the direction clear then? Do we need a motion? I feel like some... you might want to make a motion because you're accepting, accepting her resignation. Yeah, yeah. so the motion official. is to accept her resignation to uh, open up applications and statement of intents um, to be completed by noon on July 23rd and then to expect a um, an interview and a public meeting on our regular scheduled meeting of the 27th to listen to applicants. So moved. And to appoint at that point, right? No, not appoint then. No. Then we're gonna do a special meeting, right? A week later. Be yeah, in August. What if what if we do a uh, let's a uh, friendly amendment to say with the option to appoint at that meeting, yeah. and we may choose not to, so that we can have more public right. input. Because how many days would that be? Because then we still have a month to go. Right. Well, we would probably do it another. Yeah. So we would in still another, another week. Right? Maybe we do an August third meeting or something. Right. Oh, I'm on the wrong month in my brain. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't think you have time. Like, no, we're good till August. We're still. This is the. I keep thinking this is I, the end of July right. meeting. I will, I will say, I will say that every time that I've been in this process, it has happened that very night. Okay. Even okay. when there's been more than one applicant, it okay. has happened that very let's, night. Let's but see how it. Let's yeah, open it up to yeah. Maybe yeah. yeah. a possibility. Yeah. Okay. I feel good now. Okay. <laughs> so there's a motion well, on the floor by Summer Doherty. I have a second. Second by Chris Curran. Any further discussion from council? Anything from the public? Back to council for the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, we have a process here. Okay. All right, so we're now on council correspondence. Wait, did you close that? Any correspondence? I did not receive anything. No council received anything on your end. Okay. And reports of council and staff. 
that. Uh, <laughs> Elaine, anything? No, it should be okay. Thanks, uh, Thursday. So I have a big meeting. Right. Uh, okay. Summer, anything? Um, Abilene. Oh, 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 right. Oh, right. Right. I was going to say yes. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have 44 booths, the most I've ever had. My husband was busy making wooden stakes to pound <laughs> into the ground. Uh, I went out to the field yesterday with Ted with a tape measure because it has to be a wide right. circle going around. I'm going to be busy at one o'clock. Oh, I got a hold of Emily Wood. And she's very excited about helping me um, chalk out. It's this special spray paint they use for grass, but you can chalk out the corners for each of the 10 by 10 booths. Because you know, it's a lot of booths. The beer booth is going to be at the very end of the arc so okay. that the line will be coming in the middle. Good plan. Trying to keep nice. as much distancing as we can. Um, lots of raffle, good raffle prizes, people. Ooh, good raffle prizes from uh, Marvin. There was a question about bocce ball. That day, we're trying to decide whether we're going to have that or not. Yeah, I'm not. I, I know they were checking to see. Um, I think the old pros used to put it on. Or Mike Fogut. Mike then, Fogut and Kevin Fisher yeah. used to do it, but now they're so involved with the Annie and Mary Rail Trail beer yeah. booth that they haven't been. But somebody right. might want to do it because Emily said <clears throat> people are already asking her about right. it. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you sign up for teams? It's oh. quite a competition. Oh, oh yes, it's a team thing. Got it. Okay. So, um, so there's still questions about that. Good music from 12 to 5, uh, bought a lot afterwards, I think, or the weekend after. Uh, uh, festival. Yeah. yeah. So, I have to pick food. Parade at 11, Grand Marshal, Chief Anugu. I'll be in the parade as mayor and our Porsche. Do you want me to go pick up any of the signs that are being done? They'll be done on Friday, and I have to run over there anyway, okay. so I'm going to order a few more signs from them, so okay. I can do it all at once. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. I ordered four with like arrows going up, and then two with arrow, like right hand turned arrows. Okay. Great. I mean, my mind, I was like, I don't know. So we go up this way, keep Here going. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Is this for the parade route? Uh, yeah. For parking. parking. So we're oh, parking. To okay. Reach for the parking in the residential and, and direct them down towards Taylor Way, and then come across the bridge and come to. Oh, so oh that's trying right. to reduce the impact on the yeah. yeah, I like it. That's part of well, it. you know, when the Mike Michael Fronte concert came about, um, the casino mm -hmm. they did their parking down there. Yeah, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. the first time. Mm -hmm. And the end of the sign will be useful month. for us for the next festival. Right. And yeah, we really need it to help. Okay, so that's it. We line up for the parade down on Taylor Way. Yeah, at the brewery. Mm -hmm. And um, the parade route is a little different, it's going on. It's going on South Railroad as it comes around here, rather than railroad. Uh, I don't know too much else about the parade. Um, there's supposed to be a something handy we were supposed to take a map. Yeah, but she stepped down from the chamber, so I think Mariel Morrison and Lori. Uh, she just got elected to vice chair. No, she doesn't. Yeah. Well, she doesn't work for the ranchery anymore, or she retired, so she's now no longer on the chair. Uh, chamber. Oh, yeah. She saw something chamber. saying that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This just was like last month. Oh, okay. yeah, really recently. Okay. Yeah, it was like the last chamber meeting that Summer and I attended in March. It's a lovely garden. Um, okay, that was Annie and Mary Day coming up. Uh, Christian, anything that you went to? No. no. I know. Because I have to call on the 15th. Okay, we are moving now to future agenda items. I think we have a good running list of future agenda items. We do, right? Yeah. Prioritize well, any of these the next one. Or? We have an application. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, and the, uh, let's see, it's a development acknowledgement that was going to wait for coordination with the mayor chair. For right, right. Um, yeah. Yeah. And we'll probably have to have another. Yeah. We'll probably have to have another closed session. Did you guys want to appoint the um, replacement for Olivia for the negotiating team? Yes. At the next yeah. meeting. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's too bad. That should have been. I don't know that it has to. Be, it doesn't have to be an official action, or can you just do it amongst yourselves? 
Well, I think it. we made it official, but yeah. I don't know. You're not taking any action, you're just talking to bring back the council. So I don't but know. anytime we appoint like a uh, subcommittee or something, we do it in a public manner. Yeah. But so so just yeah, that's one unless we have yeah. five yeah. minutes of emergency since the post and the agenda. Yeah, I think we do. We but have. let's do that. Let's do have that on the agenda for the next time, though, is a point uh, negotiating committee meeting member. Um, so that may, that's going to pack up pretty quick because we have to waste some time mm -hmm. to yeah listen to any you know public comment and interview questions and um, review. And we can push thirteen eighty three again. Right. <laughs> We no, know we're not. We should do that quickly. I mean, honestly, with 1383, though, there's so much happening behind the scenes. Right. Yeah. It's going to change. It's going to change. So oh, yeah. I don't think we, we're not losing any time. It's just there's not really, I think, giving it time. I mean, does everyone know what 1383 mm -hmm. is? You know, the, um, yeah. somewhat. But but yeah, yeah, we can kind of fall under some yeah, exemptions, yeah. And, but we probably need to. Right. We and there's, they're working yeah. on some, uh, bringing on some consultants right now too locally. I was just on the LTF call today and talking about bringing someone on to really help work through this yeah. and trying to get a new HDFDMA director on yeah. and stuff. So mm -hmm. well, I don't think we're losing anything. Is there going to be funding available? I think they're going to have to yeah. because it's a huge yeah. initiative. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. just... So if you're in the middle of hiring HWM. Yeah, we made an offer. We're yeah. supposed to be checking references and I wish I haven't heard. I assume at our meeting. When, and when is your next meeting? It's on Thursday, but I don't know. This Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, hopefully the person we selected works out because they have extensive experience in 1380. Oh, that's good. Um, is Jill staying on until the replacement? Yeah, she's been <laughs> okay, that's good. Jill. No, yeah. that's good. Sometimes that doesn't <laughs> she, happen and then it's really hard. Yeah, she's yeah. been really generous oh. with her time. Oh, yes, okay. she's going to continue on. And even after she officially steps down, we're going to allow her, you know, a certain amount of hours. She'll be like to overlap or whatever. Yeah. As needed, she'll be that's yeah, okay. to, as needed for, for training and transition. And then we'll also have um, the Blue Lake Garbage. Oh, uh, yeah. right. Contract at the humble sanitation switch in discussion. So, what yeah. the garbage is selling humble sanitation. You know, I, I called Markin up out of the blue because that hit me that we're supposed to have a bin down there for Annie and Mary Day. Mm -hmm. And it's gratis because the last con um, contract we had with Lily Garbage, they said I think it's three gratis bins per year. Mm -hmm. And one of them was for Annie and Mary yeah. Day. And I can't mm -hmm. remember what the other two were for whatever was needed. But I told Marvin to call the like garbage guys. I don't. I assume it's still the Hoopers. Yeah, it's still done, Marvin. Yeah. But, I mean, and then and Humble's they're pretty close to having their sale done. So, uh, but the Humble County, they're really nice too, and they're local. They just live up on the Scum Hill. They the new owners. Them. Yeah. Oh, and they have the port potty business. Also. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, 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 that's right. So, uh, they're pretty yeah. committed to being you know good partners. So. Okay. But there's definitely some, you know, changes. Doug and Barbara, you know, they hadn't, they hadn't really kept up with the times. You know, Doug was doing a lot of stuff himself and driving the trucks, and they're pretty outdated. And you know, so there's definitely going to be some fee increases coming out of Pike and stuff. He hasn't increased fees for years, um, so they're trying to figure all that out. You know, so, but we're trying to also structure it so that it's not a 218 process. Because there's been a recent ruling that was kind of pulled in municipal garbage service franchise fees and um, customer fees into this process. And so we're trying to really structure it so that it's more like, you know, a cost of living increase and not, you know, like a new fee, new rate schedule, because it gets a little bit sticky. They think the ruling is going to be overturned, but right now it's kind of an established thing. So it's right. It's like this, we really need to be careful about how it's structured. So it's kind of going back and forth. Well, yeah, if it hasn't been raised in years, then you get a little bit of cost of living every year. Yeah, yeah. But you just have to be really careful about the wording and right. the, the justification, justification for it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it sounds like this is getting packed in. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll be okay. Um, so we, we, we just said we're going to, we'll leave SB 13 off for, 13 mm -hmm. off for right now. Yeah, but we need to include the negotiating 
in the appointment. Yeah, yeah. appointment negotiations. Yeah. The vacancy of the city council person. Will that garbage? Will that be ready by the last? Meeting? I think so. It's okay. really close to being ready. Okay. okay. And then, um, will there, there'll be a closed session probably with Mandy at that meeting. Okay, so let's let's uh, can we make it so that those like the bullet garbage, the um, negotiating team appointment, um, those things can come first, mm -hmm. as well as like reports of staff and uh, council correspondence and future yeah. agenda items, and then we can go into the closed session. No, we go oh. into the vacancy appointment. Oh, okay. Interviews, right? And then we go into a closed session after. Yeah. Yeah. So we can. Do we need to time the closed session again, or? It's nice. It's a couple of times. What time is it? Now? Yeah. We do that See, for. Early. I think we should let that float so that we okay. can um, make sure that we cover everything with the right public. public. Yeah. But, you know, make sure that there's plenty of time. To yeah, because even now, see, it's only 7.15, and we said the closed session was at 8. Oh, we can do it sooner. Yeah. It's better not, maybe it's better not to put a time on a closed close session, just in case. It's going to be fluid. All right, any other future agenda items? I like this trying to, like, kind of set. The agenda in advance, knowing that some of those stuff that will probably come up in the right. game that maybe needs to put on there, but yeah, I think that helps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially the priority things that will be done quickly, things that use like our support people. Um, all right, is that are you done with all that? Maybe? Yeah, I think okay. I got it. Now, the only thing here about the closed session is that we need you to come back here. When we're done to close up. Well, what about all this? This can be shut down now. Well, you know how to do that? Well, no, we can do it. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. true. Okay, yeah. you're we right. Normally, no one's here, but we would normally take them all out. Right, that's right. Okay. All right, good, you guys. Thank you. Okay. You go. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, uh, okay. I was all prepared. So, we first have to make a motion to go into closed session per government code. 54957 title city manager performance evaluation. I moved. Motion is second to go into closed session. Any further discussion by council? Anyone from public? Back to council for the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We're in closed session. Yeah, that's that's nice. I'm almost.